spray it up on them. Hi, bud. How you doing? Huh? Hey, guys. Welcome to Browse the Acres. I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to Porter. In June of 2019, we harvested Kobe. Uh, thank you, Kobe. Um, he's, uh, he was a wonderful steer. Um, we got Kobe at the age of two. Porter is now one and a half. So we got Porter in July. I would say he's close to six, 700 pounds. Um, when, he's, when he's of age for us to harvest, he'll probably be around uh, 900 to 1,000, maybe even 1,100 pounds. Um, but this animal and chunk are the same animal. They have the same spirit. They're both knuckleheads. He loves to play, he loves to get rowdy. Him and one of our goats over here, Kudu, or buddies, they're actually very sweet with each other. Um, he does like to chase the goats around a little bit when we let him out, so we don't let him out too much because we don't want him to be running around all that much. We want him to stay nice and fat and juicy for when we harvest them. But um, yeah, let's, uh, he's kind of getting eaten by the flies. So see if we can do Mama Rhonda's technique of fly spray. I learned this from her. She's very patient. Hi, buddy. How you doing? So yeah, Porter, Porter here is, he's kind of a, a lot more playful than Kobe ever was. Kobe was a little more mature. And when we got him, he was two years old. This guy was a year. But um, he'll play kind of kickball with you with this ball over here a little bit every once in a while. And usually with me, he thinks he's going to start playing. So he gets a little rambunctious. So I'm actually very surprised he's letting me spray him with this stuff. And the fly spray that we use on Porter is actually all natural. So that way... We're not spraying pesticides on them. It has like cayenne pepper and some other of that kind of stuff in there. Um, but uh, he, I usually just kind of chase him around the, the corral, spraying them. But um, Mama Rhonda showed me her ways. So we spoil them a little bit now. Huh, bud? Oh, sweet boy. But he does like a good hard scratch. Actually, we were in here cleaning this out the other day, and we had like a metal rake, and I started rubbing him with the metal rake, and he really liked that thing. Gives him a good scratching. So Kobe was our first steer. Um, I would say they're both very sweet animals. Um, I would just say that they're just a little different. Um, Kobe was, I had more of a softer relationship with Kobe. Uh, Rhonda has a be softer relationship with Porter. <laughs> get him. Porter, I just rushed you. Get him, Porter. You get that poop. Don't roll in the poop. You get that poop. Don't you roll in that poop. You show that poop who's boss. Don't you show that big pile of poop who's boss. I just brush you, do not roll in that Do poop. it. Or do not, do not. Do it. Do not look at me like this. <laughs> Get off the shit pile Porter. now. Porter. Porter. Don't roll in the poop. Don't listen to your mom. Don't you roll in that poop. Roll in the poop. <laughs> 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 Tough, man. Good it, job, buddy. You start getting close with these animals and you realize that they're here for food. Kind of, it's tough, but we would much rather 
give the animal a life worth living and give them attention and love and the respect that they deserve and die by our hands than getting shipped off to a warehouse and stressed out and freaked out and alone and all that kind of good stuff. So we suffer so that the animal doesn't have to in that sense. We, we care and we love this animal so that they're not treated in a, in a bad way. So oh man. with Porter, I'm a little, a little more distant than I was with Kobe. Um, with Kobe, I was definitely a little more attached. I think Rhonda is a little more attached to this guy. She comes out and spends more time with him and does all that kind of stuff. And um, I think just instinctively, I've, uh, distance myself because when I I'm the one that shoots them that kills them and with Kobe it tore me up to do so I didn't want to get another steer after that I was kind of okay buying our meat somewhere else um, because it was tough it wasn't easy but that night we had a piece of uh, Kobe we had some of the um, forget what it was maybe skirt steak or something like that something that dries out when you age them and um, we we're all torn up and then I had some of Kobe and I called the breeder the next day and said we'll take another one and then we got Porter here a month after uh, Kobe was harvested and um, I just don't want to get that close to him because it's hard it's not easy I still show him love and I still give them that kind of respect, but um, I'm, I'm not as close with this guy as I was Kobe, for sure. I think Rhonda is a little more attached to this one than I, than I am. She's kind of more the buddy. Hmm. I come in here, I feed him, and I take care of him. I give him his scratches and make sure the flies are off of him, and, but I'm not not as close to this one as I was Kobe for sure. Hi buddy. Even though it may not look like it because he's a sweet animal. But every animal here gets loved and spoiled and it's one of the things we love about this place. We get to we get to raise them the way we see fit and get to show them as much love as we can. And that's the whole point of Browse Acres. We want to build positive relationships and have these animals feel loved and have a place that they call home and we want to show people that it's okay to love an animal and treat them with respect and even though you're going to raise them to eat them that's how people live with animals for years before the factory farming it's the circle of life when you turn a blind eye that's the problem when it's all about profit that's the problem it's about relationships. It's about knowing where your food comes from. And I tell you, you get this close with an animal, you're not gonna waste food. You're not gonna, we're, we don't waste any of the meat. We don't throw it away. We eat it all. Cause we have so much respect and love for these animals. So, all right, bud. You have a good day. We'll see you later.